Okay, so we're going to create us a class with some pages and some data and fill it up. Um, so I'm just going to put it in a new folder called Classes. Or we could put it in the Scripts folder. Um, let's put it in Scripts. Right click, Create, C Sharp, Script, and we're just going to call this um, Page. P A G E. So, this, I had a different one for the other program, but I'm going to call it something different now for this one. So everyone will like it, not just people like me. Let's see. Let's open it up. Reload. Okay. So this is just a class. It's not going to be inherited. Mono behavior is just a class. And we don't need these. Okay. Now I'm going to copy this from another program. It was a different one that I had, except that it's not like me. Um, which that's okay. I can get the text and we can. The reason I want to copy it is because there's a lot of words that it will be, go quicker. Let's see. Downloaded. Let's look at the download. So if it'll let us copy the text, that'll be good. So um, I'm just going to copy these and it'll save me some typing. Control copy, but we're going to change it. Control V. To paste that in. Okay, so this is going to be class it's going to call page, and instead of the book chapter and verse, I'm just going to have header, or you can call it title, or let's just call it title. And then instead of verse text. I'm just going to call text. And then uh, we're going to have a list of strings called pages. And we'll leave that the way it is. And since I'm not using the word verse, this is page. And this is just going to be a page, a list of these pages. And then we're going to have a static page random page. It's, we're going to pick one randomly and we're going to save it. So we've got the current page and the current page one, current page two, and what that's going to go to is page one and two of the open book. And then I'll go with the flip pages too, but we will deal with that later. So this one has got get random page. Get random page. And I will try to, in the description, paste this in. But the last time I tried to paste things in, it said that it would not accept what it called angle brackets. Well, I don't have any angle brackets, it was a reject and curly brackets. And then we're going to call this a page list. I had a verse list. We're calling it a page list. Okay. And we're going to change this to page list. So, um, this Unity Engine Random, that is part of Unity. It will give you a random number and it does a true random and it's exclusive like zero to the count and it will pick up the last page also where um, like C sharp and Java and them the random is not really a true random if you see it it gives you the same one all the time so I did some games um, and it was let for a math quiz and it was had random and I could depend on it being the same all the time. So we're going to call this page list count. Uh -oh.
basically all the places it says verse and changing to page and you can get this typed in because I'm doing it slow enough you can see the test the text excuse me so I go get this random from a page list okay take that underscore off and this here is going to be static we're just going to fill it up once but I'll show you how to do that in a second stream words and once I get the page I'm going to split the text up in by spaces and that's going to be a list of words and I said six words on each page it's actually seven because I split it by six and so then I run through these words and if it's greater than six which would be seven we create a word page okay and um, and I, this string format is to put a space behind each one. Okay. And we're going to say random page equals page. And then we're going to return this page. So let's make sure we did it right. So we got a static page, get random page. We have not created this yet. That's the reason it gives us the error, but we're fixing to. So we're going to have seven words on each page. Okay. So now we're going to get our page list. Okay. So if page list is equal to null, and it always is the first time, then we're going to create this list, and at the end, we're going to return it. So really, it only builds it once. We have so little data on this, it doesn't really matter, but if you had a lot of data, it would matter. So we're going to create a new page list. Okay. Okay, what did I call that first thing? Did I call it title? Yes. So we're going to say title equals is Acts 1711. And we're going to delete these two out. And the text. This is so I just don't have to retype it. And you can put anything in you want in yours. Just make sure you have a title, which you don't have to. You can leave it blank if you want. And some text. And then, um, then we're going to create, we're going to break the text up and put it in these page list. Pages list. So I'm going to do this real quick. And I'm going to pause it while I finish these up. And you can be doing yours. And then as soon as I'm done, I'm going to take the video off pause and we're going to um, keep going. Okay, I got them changed. And you can enter you some. Just make sure you have a title and some text. Okay, and that's all you're going to need. And uh, this method here. get random page it's going to split them up for you okay so look that over pause the video and you can type this in and uh, like I said we just start as an empty page list and um, well it's not empty we get this page list from here so you got 
you, a bunch of data. You can either enter it like this. You can get it from a database. You can whatever you want to do. You can do. You can have just static text for a game or whatever you want to do. But um, go ahead and get your data in, and then we're going to start working on it. Okay.